Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be doing a game development log for my game Heart Battle, which is getting pretty close to release. Hopefully I'll have it up there on Android, iPhone, and maybe even Steam, uh, but we'll have to see. So um, anyway, today, opening cutscene, it's uh, something I've been working on the last couple of days. I'll just go ahead and play it, and then I'll talk about how I've been doing it for those who are interested. So let's just go ahead and play it as it is right now. Keep in mind, uh, probably going to need a few finishing changes to kind of um, uh, just make it a little bit nicer before the official release. But let's go ahead and hit play. Okay, uh, so yeah, that was the opening cutscene, and now it goes ahead and dumps us into the tutorial stage. Yeah, text fairly self-explanatory. Uh, if you haven't been keeping up with my videos for about that, how the game basically works is you collect hearts, and that's kind of how you damage, quote-unquote, the enemies throughout the game. And on each stage you have to collect a certain number of hearts, which gives you love. And that's basically how you defeat them. Meanwhile, you're dodging attacks. Now, obviously that right there the intro tutorial level just showing you, hey, dodge this literal dodge projectile, which does you 50 damage if it manages to hit you, and collect the hearts. So after that, it jumps you into the level select screen and you can go about the real game. So how did the cutscene actually work? Well, you can see over here all the game objects I have on the left, which includes uh, 1,000 stars and cutscene, which was the little star that flew in from the top left corner. Uh, what I'm calling finale group, which is just a list of different game objects inside the scene, including the hero, the little Ankh guy, and the sad bear, the guy who's narrating everything. And then over here, five hearts, which approach the main character, the hero Ankh, as the cutscene progress, uh, progresses. As you can see on uh, the cutscene hearts, I have a little script I wrote just for this, which basically uh, follows the uh, same kind of homing, I, I guess you would say, methodology that I have for the aimed projectiles in this game. So the whole projectile system is actually something I really want to release into the Unity store once I have it polished up. Uh, but one of the things there is to actually have your projectiles aim at the hero. Um, of course, there's other ways of doing the projectiles, but yeah, that's one that I basically took over from the real combat and added to the cutscene. So just a quick way of doing that. Now, um, obviously, there's backgrounds and other stuff that fades in, like the curse, and those are all done through animators um, and animations to go along with that. But the uh, main scripting for the cutscene itself was done with this custom cutscene script. So uh, basically, I'm taking this giant array of basically text for each line and then uh, also included in that it, it's like a custom serializable object of some kind uh, all that you really need to know is it has a line inside of it it also has events which you can add and call basically whatever you want from any other game object um, in these events and there's one event per script line so if you want something to happen at a very specific time uh, that lets you do that um, segment delay also, I think I'm only using that on one of these parts, uh, yeah, this line right here, just so that you can delay uh, the text from continuing a little bit for dramatic effect. But that's really the gist there, just having a bunch of events and calling stuff from other game objects when you need that. 
Uh, I wasn't actually really planning on releasing the cutscene script, but if that's something that you think would help you out, uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, maybe I'll get around to releasing that as well. And then at the end, uh, for a scene transition, I actually have it called as an animation event. So in this screen fader uh, animation, box out, which is actually an overrided box out specifically for this scene, um, I have it at the end of the script to just transition the scenes, so that's not anything too special there. So just wanted to share my opening cutscene with you guys, hope you liked it. Um, if you want, you can let me know in the comments what you did like about it and what I can do better. Uh, but beyond that, you can look for Heart Battle in the stores probably somewhere in the next week to a month from the release of this video. But if you subscribe to the channel, I'll definitely have an update when it's finally out. So thanks for watching. I've been Chris, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my future tutorial and video content.